I'm Olivia Lang and I'm delighted to introduce Maria Munir. Maria is shortlisted for a Human Rights Award because of their work with non-binary people. Maria had an especially powerful moment this year when they confronted Obama on the Carolina bathroom bill and his lack of action on it. I was really lucky that I was part of Young Leaders UK with the US Ambassador. I had the opportunity to sit front stage, front, you know, front row with Obama, um, but I noticed something that really put me off. He said he's going to take questions in a boy-girl, boy-girl fashion. And I was sat there <laughs> thinking, well, I'm not sure how to respond to this. So at every opportunity, I put my hand up and eventually he noticed that there was someone who was really keen to obviously interrogate him on something. Um, and I said to Obama, well, you know, as how can you, as the President of the United States, purport to be like the, the saviour of the free world if you yourself have been unwilling to recognise the fact that there is more to gender than just man and a woman? As a result, there was quite a media storm because people thought it was quite strange that someone should reveal something so intimate to the President of the United States. Uh, I hadn't intended it that way, but it just happened. Um, and uh, the US Attorney General, Loretta Lynch, threatened to sue North Carolina, which is like a momentous step. Uh, Obama himself issued a, di a sweeping directive to all public schools in America, which he has not done before regarding such issues, talking about things like how gender neutral bathrooms should be something that is very natural to schools and public places, talking about how pronouns should be respected and I just thought this is a momentous occasion. My dad always instilled in me the belief that as a person no matter what age you are, no matter what gender, no matter what faith, no matter where you come from, you should have the same a, a right to fulfil your ambitions as everyone else. I've suffered from you know hate crime as a result of this, I've my family have been targeted by people but at the end of the day what kept us going was knowing that you know, um, it's like paraphrasing Eleanor Roosevelt. Well-behaved people rarely make history instead of well-behaved women. Mm -hmm. But it, it's true, it's true. If you just stick to what society expects of you, of course they're gonna pat you on the back and move you along, but sometimes you have to be ready to fight back with uh, gravitas and a lot of fire in your belly.